what is up guys and before I even start this up I just want to apologize because I was supposed to post this part six actually six days ago but I ended up getting caught up with some things and couldn't really get to it so I'm doing it right now and before we start this guys be sure to be sure to uh, smash that like button smash that subscribe button and smash that post notification bell button without further ado let's uh, explore this police station as we are playing as uh, Carlos and we're supposed to be looking for Dr. Bard and uh, don't really have much on us if I'm not mistaken yet yeah, he opened this way so we're heading through which area is this okay it's the reception we're supposed to be heading to the star's office we know the star's office is on the second floor Hold on. Yeah, these here wasn't in Resident Evil 2, so I guess only Brad's. I think that's the name, right? Brad. I gotta look at the name. Yeah, Brad. Alright, so only his card unlocks those boxes, so I guess we'll be finding more throughout the police station. Well, at least we know what happened to those two cops. At least we know it was the liquor that got them. Pretty sure there's the liquor still around. Damn. The two body twitches. He's still alive? He's probably suffering. Alright, so we're not going to be going through that door. Because it doesn't even have an X on it. Stick around. Ah, here we go. Try to conserve my ammo because I don't know how many zombies I'm gonna be, be running into. Oh, that's it right there. Hold up, maybe more zombies. Nope. Hold up, he doesn't even have a knife. Oh yeah, he does. Make sure y'all dead. The hell was that? There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's double tap him. Right. Big warm RPD welcome. Got a flashbang. Oh, they don't have the they don't have this pallet here. Yeah, guess they took it out. Oh, well, not really much of a guess they did. Assault rifle. Oh yeah. You copy? Locker room cap. Okay, so we can still here. unlock the lockers. Zombies are in here. Oh wait, I have a flashbang. Damn. Oh, I didn't see him. I seen him last minute. Yo, it's a lot of zombies. 
I already know they could break through this door, so. What is that, a grenade? Oh, a scope. Nice. Increase our accuracy. Alright, let's get it. Yeah, as I say, it could be up on this side. Where's that zombie at? I say he keeps dodging my bullets. I'm about to double tap all of them. How? How? I sliced you so many times. Do I have a. I don't even have a. Damn herb. All there is is just red herb. <clears throat> There's gotta be a herb or a first aid spray somewhere. Oh, I can't remember the damn passcode of that one. I wonder if they're the same. As Resident Evil 2, I mean, one of them's, well, the the one upstairs with the cap and the locker room is still the same, so I'm assuming the other ones are probably the same. Make sure they did. Did I search everything? No, it's just a save, but there's no herb. Maybe I gotta find a key for it. It's gotta be a first aid spray somewhere, probably in that box. There we go, green herb. Just in time, buddy. I don't think I double tapped this zombie. Alright, but he did anyways. Alright, so I guess we're heading towards the stairs. The second floor. But if there are zombies, not really so fucked up after all. Miss that. Cameras kill those things. I'd be set. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Nine, fifteen, seven. Yeah, yeah, because that is the first floor, right? Yep, West Office. All right, so we got the code to it after all. So that means we can head back and grab that. But first, I'm gonna save it.
Alright, so it was 9, 15, 7. There we go. I got a hip pouch. I mean, I was surprised it would give us a hip pouch just because, like, I mean, are we going to be playing as Carlos a lot in this campaign? I mean, we might if they're giving us a hit pouch. I don't know. Because to be honest, I don't even really know how this game even ends because I tried my best not to look at any spoilers on this game. I know that. Copy that. But I'm ahead up here first. Because that's where you want me to go. We got a key. I wonder what the hell that unlocks. Uh, what was this one? Ah, I can't remember this one. Do we have it? No, we don't. Yeah, I can't remember the code of that one. Oh. What? That's bull. tell they took away the ragdoll effect in this game because one his arm is like going through the stairs they should have kept the ragdoll effect I wonder why they took it out I'm gonna see if that key unlocks that terminal room I have to fight this thing because it's like in my way. It's literally in my way. Maybe if I get it to move. I don't know. I may have to fight it. I don't have a flashbang. Yep. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I go upstairs and come back down. See what see what happens. No. No, he's going back. I'm not to just fight him, but hey, I can use the stairs because he can't go up the stairs. Can't get me. Liquor's like, I don't know how to go upstairs. This is my biggest challenge. Well, there goes a tip on how to defeat a liquor easily. Just go upstairs. You know, just go up the stairs and he can't follow you. Oh, what do you know? It doesn't lock it. Yeah, but I see I hear footsteps. I'm hoping this is the only zombie. Okay, it is. Damn, this zombie's moving pretty quick.
Yep, I knew he was going to do that. Even though I sliced you so many times. You definitely done. But I'm going to still double tap. Well, triple tap. Alright. 208. 203. I wonder if we still need the buttons. Hold up, 104, 106, 109. Yeah, because we don't need the extra buttons for those. Were there other ones on this side? Nope. And the shotgun's not here either. Come to Papa. Some more assault ammo. And we got a battery. Mine now. Which uh, the only thing that could go to is the C4, because that's the only thing we need a battery for around this time. In uh, Resident Evil 2. And on top of that, we're going through um, the what's you call it? The second floor through the locker room, and that leads to the C4 room. I believe it does. Oh no, no, it leads to the star's office. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so never mind. I don't even know what the hell this battery is gonna go to then. Cause that, cause that place is on the third floor. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. What if I have the? To... Oh, it was cat. Then the flashbang. Let's see, we got a herb. What is that? Oh, they're talking about that locker that guy pops out of. This one? Better not. Hold on, I'm about to go back to um my inventory and drop some stuff off. Drop a load off. Of that stuff. All right, so it looks like we're blowing up this wall. In Resident Evil 2, this wall was already broken, so now we know that Carlos was the one that broke it. Go ahead and combine this. And then we put it back on the wall. Gotta move. Oh, and the wall was actually bigger in Resident Evil 2. Pipes are broken. Okay, so that's okay. So explosion started those pipes behind us to burst. Yeah, it's Resident Evil 2. We actually had to stop that. So it's actually neat how they did that. Oh damn! Let's 
Time to just start spraying. Yo, so many zombies. It's just you left, so I'ma just pistol you. Alright. I'ma just move while I'm knifing. Make sure everybody dead. I'm not playing. <laughs> Damn, is even more? Get out of here. It's gotta be all of them, right? She's still alive. Alright, that's all of them. Yo. Just pistol you. Nice first aid. Assault ammo. <laughs> nope, not getting me, buddy. Go! Let me heal myself. Oh, damn, he's still throwing attacks. Oh, man, you got me. There you go. Come on, open the door. I don't want to keep using my assault rifle. So I'm using my pistol right now. There you go. You're dead. I'm not even going to run because I don't even know if there's another. I think that, yeah, as the star's office there, I'm going to just keep moving ahead real quick. Just to see what's up ahead. I mean, I already know what's up ahead, but it just seems there's any zombies or anything. The hell? This area was never blocked off. That's weird. What is that? Thought I just heard a zombie. Oh no, that's Carlos. Dr. Bard. We're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Well, yes, uh, negative. RPD's overrun too. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I use a dick. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. Now, we can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. I, I guess let's scope around this here and pick up whatever we can pick up. Per se, in this case, I'll go ahead and heal myself. Is that Jill in the front row? She probably is Jill. I mean, she does work for stars. More salt. Let's, let's get it. I think that was. Yep, that's everything. Hold on, so where the hell are we heading to? Guess I'm gonna just head out. No. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Yeah, Nemesis. I'll take care of Bart. Took out, like, a lot of the damn civilians. And that Nikolai guy is a damn traitor. Don't worry, he's gonna get what's coming to him. I think we're going back to Jill. I don't know if that one guy that's staying at the star's office, whatever his name is, I don't even know if he's going to survive or not. Probably not. Yep, we're back at you. On a way above ground. Am I the only one who made it? Well, I mean, what if we get to a save point? I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up with, you know, I'll wrap it up here and then continue it off. You know, part seven with uh, Jill. So honestly, I just wanted this part six just to be, you know, about Carlos since we were playing as him. I'm assuming we are going to run to a save point soon. I think that's the one right there, right ahead. Yep. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Well, guys, this was part six here. When we come back with part seven, we'll continue where Jill left off. And now we're trying to find our way back above ground. So I don't know if we're going through the sewers again or what, but we'll find out in part seven. If you enjoy part six, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe and tap that post notification bell and i will see you guys in part seven guys peace